here is a quick laboratory you can do anytime you have an internet connection. You're going to go to this PHET simulation called Forces and Motion, and you're going to select the Motion button down here at the bottom. When you get to the screen, come up here and you're going to click Values, Masses, and Speed. You want to turn all of those on because you want to be able to see the masses of the different objects as well as how fast they're moving. Now it doesn't really matter which direction you push them, left or right, but the way this works is when you click one of these buttons, your little person exerts a force. You click it twice, you get 100 newtons, three times you get 150, right? so you can adjust it this way, right? and then you reset. You want to push each object with a constant force of 100 newtons, because we're looking for a relationship between mass and acceleration. So we're keeping the force constant. Easiest way to do that is to click this button two times. We're gonna put the girl up here and take the box away because we're starting with the lightest mass first. You're gonna start a timer as soon as you've clicked the second time here so that the force is at 100 newtons. And as soon as you start the timer, watch the speed and when it reaches 40 meters per second, stop your timer. Then you can record your data. So you're gonna go three, two, one, go. We watch it go there, you take your time. Keep going, keep going, keep going. As it gets faster and faster and faster. All right, now you wanna go stop. At that moment, when you click stop, you're gonna record your time in your data table. So you've got your data table set up that has the mass of the object and the applied force. You're gonna do that your first time. That was 16.44 seconds. Then you simply reset. You're gonna put the girl up here again. You're gonna go three, two, one, go. We're gonna let it go until she is moving at 40 meters per second to the right. And as soon as she hits 40 meters per second, we stop the clock. Stop. That time was 16.78 seconds. We reset everything, set up the trial exactly the same way. Start again. And this time we're gonna keep time until once again, she reaches 40 meters per second. You're gonna repeat this exact same process for all of these objects down here at the bottom of the screen. Stop. The time on that trial was 16.51 seconds. So record your time in your data table, do five trials for the girl, then move on to one crate. Repeat with five trials for one crate. Then we come up to the dad, do the exact same thing. Five trials with the dad at 100 Newton force. After that's done, then put in your 100 kilo trash bin, conduct five trials with the trash bin, then set it up again with the fridge, five trials with the fridge. And from that information, you can calculate the average time for each of the objects. And from that, you can deduce the acceleration or calculate the acceleration later on. The last bit is to put this mystery box up here. And you'll notice it doesn't show you the kilos. It doesn't show you the mass of the object. You're still going to apply your force of 100 Newtons and start your timer. And so then as you measure the time it takes for the mystery box to reach a final velocity of 40 meters per second to the right, you'll be able to calculate or estimate its actual mass. Stop. Whatever that time is, write it down. Then plug the calculated acceleration of the mystery box into your Newton's second law equation, and you should be able to determine what its exact mass is based on the average acceleration that you've measured. I hope that's helpful. Happy learning.